Suplifters. Today a fellow of mine asked me why I don't, pull, I don't do pull-ups with a full range of motion, right? As I did right here. So with complete scapular abduction. And the thing is that when you are dead hanging, which is this position, you are relying completely on structure to hold you up, right? And only your forearm are tense. If we actually took this principle and we apply it to the bicep curl, you can see that the bicep is engaged throughout this range of motion. However, if I drop completely my arm, my bicep isn't really doing anything, right? It's all in the forearm keeping the weight. However, from there to there, the bicep is completely engaged, right? And since I'm interested in hypertrophy, that is why I do with like pull-ups with not a complete range of motion. And I, I, in theory, I shouldn't even go that high. However, I still do it out of habit. And the main thing that I try to do is going down as low as I can without uh, completely disengaging my scapulas, right? That way, uh, the lats, which are the muscle that I'm trying to work, get completely stretched. However, another day, another headache. I did literally one set of pull-ups, not even one set, like only that series, and I had the head splitting headache. It hurt a, a lot. So I decided, okay, this doesn't make any sense. Let's do some curls. And I curled, following the same principle as before, which I don't know why I've never applied it to curls. So it kind of makes sense. So I've done this series, and then, you know, the headache wasn't really going away. So I decided, okay, I mean, I might as well just completely deload. And I basically started googling about these headaches, which are called exertion headaches. And uh, seeing, from what I understood, they are basically caused by, by tight neck muscles, followed by heavy um, lifting or heavy compound movements that require your body to tense up completely, right? So you have your, all, your whole body getting tensed, and these muscles which are causing some kind of headache. So, what I decided to do is pick up some very nice exercises from my MMA days. These are the called the yes, no, maybe, because you are doing all the three gestures, right? The yes, the no, and the maybe with your neck. And that really helps you. It's a really easy exercise since there is real, no real pressure, right? It's all isometric. I did three sets of those, and I also found out that there is this really interesting type of stretch with pressure points in your lats which I found uh, on Athlean X, uh, which, by the way, is a physiotherapist, not a strength coach. Anyway, um, and they really helped me a lot, right? So basically, you put your lacrosse ball on your trap. You turn your head around watching the ceiling. Here, the ball was kind of getting out of my traps. You watch the ceiling. You then kind of bridge on your opposite left, on your opposite leg, right? So I have the balls under my right trap and I'm bridging with my left one in order to put more pressure up there. I did this a couple of times and it really helped a lot and I felt like my neck was a lot less stiff, right? So what I've noticed a lot is that my left side of the neck uh, has always been stiff. However, I've never really tried to fix it, right? And as I've recently found out, every time you don't fix something in your body, it comes back and it bites you in the ass. And that is what's, what's happening with these headaches. I kept reading online and some other suggestions that for some people have worked basically are to stay hydrated, which I already do, so that should be already like not a problem. Doing a low, a low, um, yeah, oh my god, a longer warm up with some cardio, which I don't do. I usually don't do a cardio warm up. I just go straight into the movements with less weight. So I might try to do that and see how that works. And uh, they also talk about uh, doing this kind of stuff, right? So pressure points in your traps and in your neck, as well as, you know, uh, trying to stretch and reinforce the neck. So training the neck a little bit more, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. I believe that these headaches have been caused both by my underlying neck problem, which wasn't extremely, you know, it was nothing crazy, right? I just had a little bit less range of motion on the left side rather than the right side. But I believe that it happened the day that I tried to deadlift a lot and my CNS wasn't really shooting and something was wrong. And then the next day I did Bulgarian split squats, which also require me to hold something in my hand. And what I felt like is that on the, on the right side, during the last set, in the one that I took the break, like mid-set because I felt so fatigued, um, I felt like my body wasn't really in a good position, right? I didn't really feel solid. I felt pretty unstable. However, I also th thought like, yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> what could go wrong, right? Yeah, this could go wrong. So I think it's a mixture of things. So I'm gonna really take it slowly and ease myself back into my next workouts. So probably no deadlifts, no squats, maybe some pull-ups, maybe some chin-ups, we will see. However, you can see that right now, at the end of the workout, before, before coming back up, because I didn't, wanna, I didn't really wanna push my luck and I really wasn't in the mood again, since I have this headache. Even right now, I still have some headache that left. However, I did another set after all of this stuff and I had no more pain, right? So I just had the pain from before, but I felt like it didn't really boost it in any kind of way. So this is it. We're gonna take it slowly, we're gonna recover, we're gonna go back stronger, and yeah, this is it. You've seen a black screen for, for long enough. See you in tomorrow. Tomorrow, more rest, more uh, kind of easy exercises. Yeah, this is it. Uh, these videos will be shorter. See you all tomorrow.